Alrighty guys, I think we're ready to go. All loaded up. just took my trailer right off it's gonna be the day of a pickerel I'm just really praying this wind dies down a little bit like I can deal with this right here those white caps start coming not feel comfortable ah white caps you serious Thank you, sir. Okay. All right, guys. It is super windy, and it's making tough, uh, fishing tough, just because it's hard to hold boat position, and uh, the fact that there's a lot of shallow grass and patches of it uh, makes it so I really can't use my propel drive. Right now, I'm in like three, four foot of water. I'd like to be in deeper water right now, like out there, but. Uh, you know, with this this kind of wind and white caps and just being positioned sideways, this is not a good idea in a kayak. That's how I flipped it last time. So right now, the plan is to just let the wind take us. We're gonna drift all the way to a creek and uh, then on my way back, I'll go out deeper and I'll nose into the waves. I'll go head on into them and I'll cut through them and I'll fish them, which, uh, you know, should be a lot more doable and a lot safer so that's the plan well guys made it to the creek that I finally said that we would drift to and uh, it was kind of a, a brutal I didn't even paddle or paddle really I kind of just drifted uh, to it safely um, so that it, the waves and the wind didn't push me over kind of regretting coming back here because it is real muddy water's real cold and there's just a lot of dead grass everywhere pretty much pretty much just choking up this entire creek so if I had known it looked like this I wouldn't have come down here so now it's time to make the wonderful journey back towards where I launched luckily we'll be going into the wind we'll nose into the waves so it should be a little bit easier but I'm planning on getting wet All right, well, that was a pretty uh, short day on the water, guys. Only was able to fish for a couple hours. Wind was just too much. And even though I think the wind was helping the bite, uh, it was too much too much for me from a kayak. Uh, it was just really hard to hold position. And I pretty much couldn't even use the propel drive because I was fishing where there's a lot of grass clumps and uh, it was just get, getting tangled up too easily and, and too often. So uh, I'm going to end it here for today. I'm definitely going to make my, my way out here again, either... Uh, mid this week or possibly next weekend but uh you know i think there's definitely some fish to be caught still before uh, it, it gets really cold here and uh, hopefully the next time we come out here the weather will be a little bit more cooperative a little more conducive for fishing and uh, we can get on some good fish but uh, happy to have caught the one and uh 
we'll make our way out here in a few more days. Picker action, as expected. This little pickerel. Cold looking fish. Thank you, sir. We'll take pickerel action all day. Today might be one of those deals where we've got to weed through like five or six pickerel to get a bass. Kind of like the Oneida tournament. And that's just kind of how it is on this northern end of Cuga Lake. Um, any time of the year, there's just so many pickerel. There's pike too, but there's just a lot of pickerel. And, uh, you know, even in, like, if you guys follow the Bassmaster, the Bassmasters at all, the Elite Series that came here, um, both times they came here, you know, it just, it was, there was a separate story and just guys having to weed through a ton of pickerel to get their, uh, their, their bass, their bass bites. It's just one of those things, you gotta accept it. And uh, yeah, I think they're still fun to catch, don't get me wrong. What do we got here? Tell me that's a bass. No, it's not. Oh, it's a foul hooked pickerel. Yeah, the pickerel bite is definitely, uh... Oh, I feel bad. I really gashed this fish. Ah, sorry, buddy. Fattening up. Alright guys, one more fish and then I'm done. Pick real bass, pike, whatever it is. One more fish and then I'm headed in. What a way to end it. All right, guys. Wow. That ended up being my last fish of the day. And it's a bass. And it's a cold bass. My goodness, that's cold. Well, that was the one thing that would have kept me fishing was uh, catching a bass. And I'm glad I did because now I'm seeing a ton of bait. See a ton of perch. It's actually a really good time of year for perch. 
and I actually do have some crappy gear or crappy gear uh, with me. Um, it was just in my bag, and um, yeah, might see if I can catch a couple of these perch for you. Catch a couple of these perch. Got one. Little one. Must be what's attracting a lot of these pickerel and bass shallow. Put all the perch down there. Catch all the small ones. Oh, that's a real tiny one. <laughs> Protective mode. Ooh, there's a better one. Not the biggest one yet. It's a good size one. Pretty fish. Alrighty, guys, gonna call it a day there. Uh, one bass, bunch of pickerel, and a couple perch at the end, but uh, hey, not a bad day on the water for mid November here in New York. I'll take it. Uh, but thanks again for watching. Hope you guys are enjoying these videos. I'm pretty much pumping out videos on a weekly basis now. Once a week is usually my upload uh, rate. So uh, stay tuned for more videos to come.